All right, there is my beautiful new Roomba i6 Plus taking a disco nap, and we are about to do a very scientific test that I designed to see how well Roomba picks up particles and food off of the floor. I'm going to use four different quarter teaspoons of salt, Parmesan cheese, sugar, and uh, Italian seasoning. I was about to use some black pepper, but I thought, no, 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 that's a really terrible idea. I'll be sneezing all day. So then there's some carrot shavings, some little candy, some slightly bigger candies, some glucose test strips, because they get it around everywhere, goodness knows, and some foil things. Oh yeah, some popcorn, light popcorn. Okay, we're about to make a mess. Oh, how do we find out if we got all this stuff? Well, four of these should equal one of these. We'll see how much we get. Bye-bye, clean floor. All right, the deed is done. I made a mess of my floor just for you. There's stuff all over this floor. There's uh, little tiny particles and bigger particles. And we're going to see how Roomba does. What a mess. I can already tell you, Roomba did not get everything. Roomba did not get everything. There is some um, bits of carrot here on the floor. Um, some over here. It looks like it did get all the candy. Some more carrots got flung under there, which you can't reach. I'm pretty sure I saw diabetes Let's strip go under here. There it is. <laughs> So it seems like along this edge it had a hard time getting stuff like here. Some grit here, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and right there. So it didn't get everything clearly. It did get a lot, I think. We're going to go find out. I'm going to shake this out. <laughs> Lots of dirt. I cleaned this before. Alright, so this is the experiment. The result is... Good? <laughs> it's also inconclusive because... One, I forgot to put the popcorn in, but um, the small particles, how am I going to separate this? I could take the carrots out, but I did not expect there to be all this dust on the floor. I did clean in here before, so I don't know what that is. Anyway, 
Uh, there was four pieces of foil. I only got three back. Even after I swept the floor afterwards, I couldn't find that piece of foil. Um, there was uh, four pieces of candy, four pieces of smaller candy. There's three uh, glucose test strips, and um, there was four to begin with. It looks like it got most of the carrots, which is great. Um, I saw more carrots on the floor than anything, but just because they're the most visible um, things. I did go to the floor and swept up because obviously this is not going to get separated out to find out how much we collected. So the inverse is to collect the dirt that was left over. And so I ended up with this. One glucose test strip that got knocked under the stove, and that's okay. Um, this bunch of carrots here is probably less than a twelfth of all the carrots that were on the floor. This is the small particles, and it's almost a half teaspoon, which um, I'm not sure how to read that, because if most of that is part of our experiment, then that's not so good. Um, but I'm not sure all that's from the experiment because I knocked the rug out and I didn't really clean in this area real well before the experiment. It was supposed to be clean, but um, not so sure about that. So inconclusive on the small particles, it did get at least half the small particles. and. Almost all of the larger objects, except for that one. And most of the carrots, which were a little bit wet and sticky. So I'm kind of impressed with the job that the Roomba did. I give it um, a B. Uh, I wish it would have got more of the small particles and been better about the edge of the carpet. But I think it did an okay job. I think if it were to come out like a few times over the week that it would um, pick up most of what it didn't get. So I don't know. What do you think?